Okay. What we're going to do is look at the difference between cooking with the regular uh, old-fashioned range and an induction cooktop. So what we're going to do today is focus on what happens when you cook it on a regular conventional range. What we've got is a GE, if you want to show that, honey. Uh, we've got a GE range that's maybe three years old, um, and it has this um, glass cooktop, which we're told is about as efficient as the old-fashioned kind with the radiant elements. So I'm just going to pull the, our lodge cast iron skillet out of the cabinet, put it on this main eye that we use, and I'm going to set it from a, on a range of, of zero to, I guess, an imputed ten because it's like two, four, six, eight, ten uh, high. I'm going to set it on eight, and you can see here what's happening here is that as the element heats up, it's going to heat up that skillet, but it heats it up very slowly. Now I'm going to go get some olive oil which we use when we're cooking our eggs. What we're cooking is a fried egg for Amanda and a uh, and scrambled egg for me with a little bit of veggies and some cheese in. So that's going to get that ready for Amanda's egg. Oh, and I didn't notice when we turned it on. It's probably been on now for maybe 15, 20 seconds. And it is... Okay, I'm going to note the time here, 7.47 as I'm, um, when I turned it on. It doesn't look like it's quite ready for the egg, because I'm, what I'm looking for to know when it's time to put the egg on is for the oil to sort of spread out on its own. <coughs> the induction cooktop doesn't use a lot less electricity than the radiant element. Um, it's just that it uses it for a much shorter time. And this is probably the best illustration of it. Um, if I were using the induction cooktop, my, my egg would be well along its way by now. And I'm going to put this in here, and I bet it's going to be a little cool. Yeah, it's a little cool for the egg right now. As you can see, it's being, it's, it's, it's a little cooler than I would want to put an egg in for frying it. But I'm sort of out of the habit of using the radiant um, eye, so I forget how to judge that. And Amanda likes a little pepper on hers, so I'm going to put a little pepper on the egg. Actually, she likes a lot of pepper on hers. <laughs> And now I'm going to wait for a second because it's, it's got some cooking to do before we're ready to turn it. I put the egg in too soon. Should have waited even longer to put it in. If I'm a real man, I'll figure out how to do one of those time passes things. But <laughs> Okay, it's um, 7.48 now, I guess. So it's been in there for... Well, we'll figure that out. We'll probably flash it on the screen how long it's been in at this point. And, um, yeah, whatever you do then, honey, don't let it stop. Just let it keep rolling. And I'm going to let it cook a little bit longer before I try to turn it because I want to see that uh, middle area there hard enough. You're probably a little close for focus. Yeah. Okay. Probably turned it sooner than I should have. Looks good. Looks good? Okay. Good. And of course, it's, it's heating up as all of this is happening, so my egg, my scrambled egg, is going to cook a lot faster than uh, Amanda's is. And I'm going to, since we're using this anyway, I'm going to go ahead and set the warming zone, which we don't have with the induction cooktop. Um, I, you need to back up because it won't cook. Yeah. Um, what I just did is set the warming zone 
which is this little thing right here, which will keep Amanda's egg warm while I cook mine. That's one of those conveniences we're about to give up. Okay. Now Aunt Amanda's egg is done, and here's mine already mixed up. And that's more like the temperature you'd want to have. You can hear it bubbling and sizzling. And this one's going to cook nice and fast. It's had lots of time to warm up now. Now, it won't be long before I'll be able to turn this off, so we'll, um, we'll figure that out. Probably after I flip it one time, we'll be able to turn the frying pan to the radiant element off. Knowing that the rest of it will cook by itself, okay. Yeah, I think I'm, I feel safe now. Okay, turning that off. So now, whatever time I just turned it off, that's that's the the time elapsed for that radiant element. Then we'll just let that sit in the pan and finish cooking. And then the next time we do this, we'll use the induction cooktop.